Uh, we found out what this man was talking about. Because it actually was haunted. During the night, we would hear, we had an upstairs, we heard somebody going upstairs. Now, I don't remember much of this, but I, I knew, I knew something was going on, but they kept a lot of it from me, you know, and didn't want to worry me about it. Dad would get up, go up the stairs, walk down the hall, ask if anybody was up, Everybody was in bed sleeping. Upstairs, there was a hall. And at the end of the hall, there was a guest room. Nobody was sleeping in there. But mom had dishes in there. And when you walked down the hall, you could hear the dishes rattle and shook. Mm -hmm. And this, noise, man going up, or whoever it was, upstairs, down the hall and you heard the dishes rattle. And the other thing that happened, we had, it was on, it was after dark, we were coming home, we were walking. My dad, and mother, myself, David, and I, I imagine Andy was with me. I imagine there was about three, three of us kids. I had walked over to my brother Rudy's place. Rudy lived at the end of Rose Valley Road on the far end and turned right, first place on the left. And we were, we were walking down to, we were, you know where Rose Valley Schoolhouse is? Mm -hmm. We were just past the schoolhouse. We could see our farmhouse. Every window in our in that farmhouse was lit. And I saw that. I remember. You that. remember that? My dad, mom. We all stopped. What is going on? And then it went out. And uh, there was he had, uh, this man that had told her, my dad that the house is haunted, knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it lit up like a little candle in every window, or you could just see light? Just see light. You could see the light coming. Light, yeah. Oof. It was like it was, every room was lit. In the farm, in the house. But you don't, do you remember waking up and hearing, what? do you remember waking up and hearing noises too? No, I don't. I was still pretty young.